Olivia and I went over to the Hope Center, which is that food outlet store that we have in our area, uh, to stock up on some snacks for camping and some more stuff for my prepper pantry. Um, one of these days I'm gonna be doing a video on some things that you really need to make sure that you have stocked up, um, just in case. It doesn't have to be some kind of catastrophic event, but just in case of whatever might happen, it would be good to have um, certain things that don't hardly ever go bad or are really something you might not think about getting but that's a future video uh, for vi for this video I kind of separated the stuff out um, on this end this is stuff that's for my long-term storage prepper pantry if you want to call it that whatever um, I got some of this Gatorade powder this was a super good deal there were six dollars and fifty cents for this huge thing it makes nine gallons of drink and this is my husband's favorite uh, drink he really really likes this stuff he doesn't get it often because there is a lot of sugar in it but because there's a lot of sugar in it this is one of those things that'll just hardly ever go bad as long as you keep it dry it won't it won't go bad even if it's past the best buy date quote unquote so I got one thing for our long-term storage and one thing for now because I knew if I bought just one he'd be sad so I got him one for now one for later and in a case where you need something with electrolytes in it it's really good or in a case where you have to drink water that doesn't taste all that great you can add some of this to it and and help the water be more palatable they had this big old thing a crunchy peanut butter for three dollars and fifty cents excellent deal um, and so I got two of these for the prepper pantry. We eat a lot of peanut butter and it's an excellent source of protein. Got two more of these pastas. I've shared these before. These are the only flavors they had left. The beet, beetroot one. And so I'm gonna stick that in my long-term storage. I got two more of these things of unsweetened applesauce. These are good till 2024. And then canned goods are good for two to three years after the best buy date and I think the reason why these were at that store is because if you look at them closely you can see that the label got put on upside down <laughs> I think that's why those were there um, these were $1.25 a bag I think these were 50 cents a can I believe these don't have prices on them but that's what I think another thing to keep in mind when you're uh, stocking up for the future is something to whiten your coffee with if you like uh, coffee with creamer um, all of the liquid ones don't have a very long shelf life even the shelf stable ones so I picked up some of this dry coffee creamer now this is not dairy free so Olivia and I could not use this but the guys could and I do have some coconut milk powder that um, Olivia and I could use if we wanted some for to add to coffee. Olivia doesn't drink much coffee, but when and if she does, she does like it with creamer. They still have their excellent deal on these walnuts, three dollars a bag. So we got two more bags. I'm gonna stick those in the freezer. If you put nuts in the freezer, it keeps them from getting rancid. They had these. Uh, they I prefer the nitrile gloves, but those are just about impossible to find these days. These were the vinyl ones, and they were $1.50 a box for 100 gloves. So I just picked up two boxes of them, um, just for whatever reason we might need them for. They still had some more of this Gold Bond lotion. Olivia really likes it. Um, it was $3 a bottle. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this down in our medicine section of our long-term storage for future use when she runs out of the other bottle that she has. Now these items here, this rice and these cookies were free um, because if you so spend a certain amount of money, you can get some free items. I got these free last time. The jasmine rice with quinoa it was really, really good. I made it one night for dinner. Um, I just made one pouch and actually for my family, I should make two pouches. So the next time I'll make two pouches. That's why I got four because that will make two meals. And then these cookies, they have milk in them, but I thought uh, Scott and Travis would enjoy them. 
Okay, so that's it for my prepper pantry. The rest of this is for immediate use or um, camping trip. Uh, these are, I've never had these before. I had this brand before, this variety before, but it was chocolate mint, sweetened with honey, and I really liked them. This is just dark chocolate and honey, and that's the only two ingredients in them, so I thought I would give it a try. I don't know how much they were, but anyway, that would be a nice little treat for me. Um, the chips, these are for whoever wants them. These peanut butter, or peanut butter, um, plain potato chips There's, with no flavoring, just plain. I love pumpkin seeds. So I got two bags of these. I thought this would be fun to munch on these sitting around the campfire. They were 50 cents a bag. And then we thought we would give these a try. I think everybody in the family likes sunflower seeds, and these are barbecue flavored. So those are for campfire snacks. But, uh, Scott loves the honey mustard pretzels, and this is a big bag. Normally I can't find a bag this big. It was $1.50, I think. Oh, $2. $2 for this big bag of pretzels. This is another camping treat that he loves to have. Um, I thought Travis would like these nacho rings. Obviously, they have milk in them, so Olivia and I can't eat them. Scott loves seltzer water, and this is a flavor that he doesn't normally get because Aldi doesn't carry it. So I thought, oh, give it a try. Cranberry, raspberry, unsweetened. It's basically just fizzy water with flavoring. Olivia saw these um, cookies. Obviously, they're dairy-free, and so we'll take these with us camping as well for a little treat. Uh, Olivia also saw this. She's into trying these strange things, so I said yes, she could try them. Um, she'll probably open them up before we go camping. These aren't necessarily for camping. And then she also picked out this sweet vanilla kettle corn. This is also for our camping trip. These, they still had these yummy peanut butter cups, organic, non-dairy peanut butter cups. And they were $2.50 a box. So I went ahead and got two more boxes and I'll stick those in the freezer and they will last a really long time. I picked this up for my dad. Um, I know the lady that works at the store and she said, oh, your sister was in and she said your dad loves this Seattle Best Breakfast Blend Coffee, and my dad has a Keurig, so I picked him up a box. I'll take those over to him later. Uh, they had these crushed peppermint candy, and I thought, oh, this is awesome. This will save us a step at Christmas time when we make our Christmas cookies, and that's something that won't go bad as long as you keep it from getting wet. They had uh, buns. These were free at the end of this shopping, before you leave the store. They have bread there, and um, they have these hot dog buns. So we will have chili dogs for dinner tonight. And then they had this toilet bowl cleaner, which I really was needing some. We were almost out. And this is the Myers, better you know, better for the environment type. It was two dollars and fifty cents. I probably should have got two of them, but I just got one. All right, that's our little haul from the Hope Center. All right, we ran over to Dollar General to get some things for camping, and we also got some things that are not for camping, but we brought it all into the camper, and we'll take what's not for camping back in the house. Um, we got two things of Pringles, some original for Olivia, and pizza for Travis. We got six pack of Mountain Dew for Travis. Scott may eat, drink, I mean, one of those. Uh, we got some of this orange Sunkissed for Olivia. That's what she chose what she wanted. This obviously is not for camping. I just thought it was super cute. So it's $2, this little raffia pumpkin that's going to go in the house. We got some of these chomps. They're rawhide free, easy on the digestion. Chews for the dogs when we're camping. Got two of these big ones for Oliver and a pack of two small ones for Sally. Napkins for the camper. 
this uh, hand soap was on clearance for 75 cents. I just got two of those for the bathroom in the house for Travis and Olivia's bathroom. I got a roll of gift wrap. I just loved it because it had the dogs all over it. And then when I saw the dachshund, I'm like, oh yeah, got to get that. And I'll, this is not enough gift wrap. I'll get some more later, but I picked that up because I saw it. And if you see something you like, you better get it or it'll be gone. Got some rubbing alcohol, alcohol just for in the house because we needed it. Um, Scott really likes this hand, hand lotion, so I got another one of those for him. Um, I got this hand soap for here in the camper. We'll just leave that in the camper. Um, Olivia needed some more earbuds, so I picked those up for her. Um, we picked up some snacks just for uh, while we're camping. I haven't had any of these in a long, long time. Molasses and peanut butter chews. The Kit Kats are for Travis. And Olivia picked out the Warheads for her. We got this new toy for Oliver. He's torn up all of his toys. These chips are actually for our dinner tonight. We're gonna have chili dogs, something super easy. So we got some of these Honey Barbecue Twists, Fritos and some lightly salted and then the last we got at the dollar general um, i like to stock up on these mini lights during the christmas season so i bought my first box i prefer the 50 50 ones not the 100 so i just got one box <clears throat> they did not have any 50 out yet got some paper plates for here in the camper and then some hand soap refill to refill all the hand soaps in the house all right that's my little dollar general getting ready to go camping haul okay so this is the last of our camping stock up um, hauls as well as a little bit of extra stuff down at this end we went to all these today to pick up last minute things for our camping trip and then we bought some extra things as well uh, while we're camping we're having uh, brats on the grill so I've got some of these buns we're gonna have hamburgers so I got some hamburger buns we're gonna have sandwiches for lunch as well as um, leftovers for lunch but sandwiches for lunch and also we're gonna leave a loaf of bread here for my niece who's going to be house sitting uh, we saw these thought these would be fun they're non-alcoholic we don't drink alcohol but sparkling cranberry apple cider we thought that would be fun and there's four of them so one for each of us I always get Scott's jerky when we go camping and this is something that he has never had before it's some kind of a specialty jerky it was not cheap but jerky is not cheap anyway so I just got one package of that for him to try we got quite a few snacks because they like snacks when we camp um, I got these baked chips for me. I mean, they're not too healthy mama friendly, but they are lower in fat. Um, Olivia chose the original potato chips. Um, these nachos are nacho Doritos are for Travis. And then I got these for either Travis or Scott. Plus you saw the snacks I got at the Hope Center at the beginning of this video. So I think we have plenty of chips. We're gonna have chips for um, side dishes with our dinners and our lunches and also for it in the evening for snacking I got a small thing of peanut butter to take with us so we don't have to lug the big one um, I got some cooking spray for the camper that's something we forgot the last time and I mean we managed without it but it's nice to have it uh, got some graham crackers we already have plenty of marshmallows and chocolate for s'mores but we needed some graham crackers the green peppers those are for when we have the brats we'll cook up some green pepper and onion we got some of this cheddar cheese for uh, cheeseburgers for the guys and for um, sandwiches for lunches uh, i got this ham for um, lunch meat decided to go with this i i'm not a giant lunch meat fan but i do like ham so i got this it's a quarter of a ham and it's already sliced up 
Now these snacks here are for my niece who's going to be house sitting. I already said that, but anyway, she we always try to spoil her when she's here. Uh, so we got her some of these Cheez-Its. And we also got her some of these turtle crackers because she has a tortoise as a pet. And so anytime I see anything with a turtle on it, I have to get it for her. We got those for her. We got her some German chocolate with hazelnuts. Two boxes of shells and cheese, some ramen noodles, and some s'more pop tarts. What's well, the toaster tart um, Aldi brand, but the same deal. So lots of junk food for her. Plus we have apples here so she can have apples and whatever else she wants that she finds in the house she can have and cook. Um, I got some jelly. I don't think we're going to take this with us just because we needed it. Um, they don't always have Miracle Whip there at Aldi, so I picked up another one of those. Um, some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It's the best. Um, this stuff is for our prepper pantry. Um, I got some more maple syrup. Maple syrup is one of those things that will never go bad, so you should stock up on it. But it has to be pure maple syrup. The honey is also for the prepper pantry. Honey never goes bad. Uh, they had this tonic water with um, quinine in it. Um, I've talked about this before in one of my other videos. This is good to have on hand for a certain virus that's um, been prevalent in the news. Uh, if you drink this, it is supposed to help you get better faster, but it has to have the quinine in it. They had these uh, cleaning wipes, anti-back wipes. For 99 cents, they had them on clearance. 99 cents a thing, and they're, that's a good deal. So I got three of them. They're different scents. This is Hawaiian coconut. This one is vanilla almond. And this one is French lavender. They're hand wipes, but I'll use them for surface wipes as well. Olivia wanted some plantains. These look like bananas, but they're not. They're plantains. So I got two of those for her. We're gonna slice up some cucumber to take with us camping because I am gonna try to eat healthy, although I am going to eat some of the junk food too because <laughs> it's our last camping trip of the year. So I'm gonna have some of those chips and s'mores and yummy stuff. So, but anyway, I am gonna try to eat salads for lunches. So I'm gonna take cucumbers and lettuce for that. Um, Olivia got some of these uh, last week when we went grocery shopping and she really liked them. So we got another bag of those. And then uh, I've got chicken legs in the freezer, but I didn't think I had enough, enough, I didn't think time enough ahead to get it out to get it thawed. So I just went ahead and picked up two more packages. We'll have these on the grill tonight for dinner and we'll save the ones in the freezer for another time. All right, that is my little Aldi haul. I hope you've enjoyed these three hauls from three different stores that we've gone to in the past few days, not only to give you ideas for if you like to go camping, some of the things that you can take, and also if you are trying to stock up and get prepared for whatever may happen uh, in the future. The future is an unknown, obviously, and so it's nice to be prepared for whatever might happen. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and we will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.